So, <laughs> so I did a, a, a procedure called resume. So if you don't believe me, uh, it's you can. Why would I not believe? Well, you? I'm just saying because it doesn't sound <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't sound, sound like you real. Met an alien. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a resume. I said. I said. I go. What does this do? He goes. Well, once you do the procedure, then you resume how you used to pee before you had a pee problem. So uh, you wake up in the. Uh, they, they steam your prostate. And steam it. They steam it. Yeah. Press it. Yeah, they steam it right there. Uh, resume procedure uses sterile water vapor steam mm. that is injected into the enlarged portions of the prostate. Mm. The steam causes the prostate cells that are responsible for the enlargement to die, which then leads to shrinkage of the prostate, which in turn creates a more open urinary pathway. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That's and it's, it, was cool. a, it was a pretty easy procedure. Science. It was a oh, pretty amazing. Fix yeah. Paulie's dick. Yeah, with science pictures, but <laughs> don't yeah. do it. Yeah, don't show the. I pictures. don't want to see someone's dick get steamed. So you wake up in the morning, or you wake up after the procedure. It's only like a fifteen minute procedure. You wake up, and I uh, I had a, a catheter in my dick. Yay! And then I had a piss bag right here connected to it. Oh. So, so I said, how long do I have to wear this? He goes, he goes for a week. I'm like, dude, that's fucked up. So for a week, bro, I'm like saying hi fi to my friend. I might even see you with you a piss bag. bag. I had a piss bag. Yeah. So do you, do you like tape it to your body? Like, what do no, you, you do? do a Velcro to your, to your, to your um, leg right here. Whoa. And, and, and so I had it for a whole weekend. It was the best week of my life. Cause I would be going, I'd be going to dinner with friends, just be pissing and fucking talking at the same time. And they're like, what's so, f what do we do? I'm like, don't worry, go on. It's a great story. This is fantastic. Oh, that's hilarious. And then, um, I drove from, I remember driving from Las, Ve no, driving from LA to Las Vegas and it's a four hour drive. I didn't have to stop once. But when I got to Vegas, I had a huge like piss tumor connected to my, um, Connected to my leg because you just keep peeing and then and then. At what know. point in time does it become disgusting? Like you're ch charting around, after, a fucking yeah. After a week, then it's like a, a week. <laughs> yeah, after a week. What's, what's the longest you gone without changing it? For real? Oh no, you never change it. I mean, you just dump get, it out. Oh, you just every couple hours you dump every it out. Every couple hours. Yeah. Okay. But well, then you never like walked around like four or five hours with a bag of piss. No, 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 no. <laughs> but uh. So that That's was what I thought he was saying. Isn't that what you thought he was saying? Yeah. We got confused. Uh, so, so you have to change the actual physical bag itself. Yeah, he had yeah. To, yeah, he had to Otherwise change. it probably smells. Yeah. Right? But it was it worked good. So if there's any of your listeners that pee a lot in the middle of the night, check out Resume. Did you eat any asparagus? I was just talking about that. <laughs> oh, did you see my pee was green or something? No, no, no. Because if asparagus makes your pee smell. Oh, so I was know. wondering, like, could you smell it through the bag? That would be interesting. Because if, like, we all went to dinner, I'm like, Polly, have some asparagus. <laughs> right. Like, if I knew that you, <laughs> you had the piss bag on, and then if I just smell asparagus pee, I'm like, you motherfucker, no. just sitting there peeing. No. I think, that would you be upset? Smell. You know what that is when you smell it. I think I'll probably let everybody know I was peeing if that was going on. I'm like, hey, guys, I'm about to pee. Just to let you know. I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, it was great. It's tough to sell. Like, hey, that's actually, science has shown that it's actually the best way to pee, because you just pee whenever you want, and holding your pee is actually very bad for you. Really bad for so you. So we're just going to give this, everyone just start walking around with a piss bag slapped. They, yeah, they need one for shit, I think. <laughs> Don't you think? You know what I mean? No. Well, but, uh, the yeah. dumbest thing we do for shit is just smear it with toilet paper. Oof. Like, once I got one of them uh, toilets that squirts water at your butt. Oh, wow. You never had one? No, I've seen it, but I never had one. Pauly. Really? You got to get one of those. There's a whole bunch of them. Wow. There's one. That, that's a bidet, right? Yeah, well, it's not a bidet because it's a. It's like a toilet. It's like oh. a toilet seat oh. bidet. It's oh yeah, like you little... have one in the we other room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go try yeah it your out. guy showed me around your place. Go try it out. Your guy showed me around your place. So, so you got the sauna and you got the cold plunge in the back. Uh huh. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. Have you done that? I've done it. Yeah, I've yeah. been sauning. I mean, that's every time I see you talk about the cold plunge and the sauna, I'm like, yeah, that's my guy. That's cold what I do. Is the best. Yeah, Boy, the, I, go, I both usually of them reset your brain so well. Yeah, I usually go to the uh, Russian bathhouse mm. in New York and L.A. and then also the Korean spa. I yeah, love Ari it. Ari loves that Russian bathhouse in New York. He's mm -hmm. always going, always going to those. Yeah, that's the it's the best. It's so good for your body. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's great. Um, 